Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of my let's play of Wasteland Survival. This is the new Deputy series. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So what we're doing today is we're just picking up where we left off from the previous video. We're going to be continuing the quest line, but also get the be on guard um, part of the quest line done. So we're going to jump right in and we're going to head over to the, uh, to the pine forest that we are here at the moment. And basically what we need to do is we just need to find a few map fragments. So once we load in, we'll find all the little bits and pieces, everything that we need, and we can get going. As you can see, which is really good, it's pretty much here on the minimap showing us that there is a lootable map fragment here. Now, what I didn't do, unfortunately, is I didn't head back home because I didn't equip any weapons on me. So I'm going in in this zone, uh, Fist the Cup style, so this is going to be interesting for me. See, we'll see how we go. I think we might be okay. So I'm going to go over here and just see if there's any other little areas that we can get our hands on to. Maybe find a weapon, maybe not, we'll find out. But what I am probably might be inclined in doing, which to be honest, I haven't done in quite some time, is I might even just find enough uh, well, sticks to make a wooden club, which would probably be the best thing for me to do right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I've actually used a wooden club in such a long time. So this is obviously going to drastically increase my attack, which is great. There we go. So probably the smartest move for now until I actually get back to base. And we can um, and we can equip with a better weapon, but for now, this will do. This will most certainly do. So hopefully we'll find another lootable. Oh, there we go. Top here. Ah, he saw me. Maybe I'm not doing good on the, the old sneak attacks here. Oh no. Well, there you go. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up. Can we join these yet? No, we cannot. So we need one more. So you usually need about up to three. In some cases, you might get away with two. Um, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to be three that we're going to need to find. Now, there's nothing up here that I need. I mean, I can grab some of this, which is not an issue. I'll grab some berries as well while I'm at it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything else up here. Now, the medical herb is always good to grab, especially if you don't have accessibility to make yourself made bandages or anything like that at this point. I mean, if you guys knock down one of these guys, you may get some cloth, which then in turn allows you to make the medical uh, bandage or the self-made medical bandage, I should say. So, yeah, so it's probably a good idea to stock up on these early on because it does give you a decent amount of healing capacity as well. So do do that. Um, and I'm just getting chased now with all these very, very low level um, enemies here. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. I'm just gonna quickly see if there's anything else. It doesn't appear to be, no, okay, cool. So my theory with everything is, oh, we've got a bounty hunter here. All right, we're going to have to punch him now, which we should be fine. There shouldn't be any issues with defeating this fella here. And I was kind of hoping that he was going to leave a weapon for us, but not in this case. But surprisingly that the bat actually didn't last that long. So interesting. So I might just find a couple more tweaks here and see if we can create another one just for now. So there's one just up here. And yeah, we've got the boar here. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay. And let's go ahead and make ourselves another club. And we'll go ahead and equip that there. There we go. So you feel a little bit more safer. Something that you could use for the interim. Ah, here we go. So something that you can use for the interim until you get yourself either back to base or if you guys are completely out of weapons for whatever reason then you've got something like that to fall back on and i, I do want to make a, a video where 
um, to find some decent weapons or you know what type of decent weapons that you guys should be looking at earlier on in game just so it'll, it'll take you to say like the next level or the next portion of the game and at least this way you guys will have a clear pathway a clear defined pathway to uh, I guess survive but also do what you guys need to do on a daily basis as well so yeah there's always there's going to be that as well from what I can see here there are some pretty good we um, weapons that you guys can get your hands on I mean I do like the copper knife the copper knife is probably an excellent one to sort of start off with once you sort of get to this part here uh, stone knife perhaps will, will be another one that you could, you could always look at as well versus you've got the wooden club there that does the same amount of damage however the the stone knife is a lot quicker in terms of attack speed so there's that element that you need to look at so a lot of it, it's got to do with obviously power as well so damage but then there's attack speed as well that sort of comes into the equation so yeah there, there's things like that that you need to sort of consider all right so now that we've got all three map uh, pieces together we've joined it up we go ahead and read it now we can find the location and we can definitely head ourselves out to the um, to the location question here so what I was thinking of doing though is I just want to see if there's any more logs that I can pick up and if I can I think I might just make sure that I've got enough so I can create an, another weapon and uh, because I do not have an axe with me it probably should have been the best uh, the first thing I would have done or should have done was create myself an axe so at least so I can get a bit of wood and that would have been the ideal thing to do so you always live and learn so yeah <laughs> even the best of us we we don't sort of um, consider things as well but if you're really sort of um, hell-bent on making sure that you guys survive then you you need to sort of make the right um, decisions I guess so in this case now that I've done that I can just cut down a little bit more in terms of timber which is good get some more logs and that way we should be able to craft up a few weapons for now just so we can sort of stay alive I guess so there's that and I might just grab a couple of more so I think these ones here only give off one and I think if the tree is full with um, with branches and whatnot this should be three logs as opposed to one log there we go cool Okay, so we've got a few now, which is good. I'm going to eat these berries up, and I'm also going to heal real quick. Now, what I noticed beforehand is that you guys can make yourselves a wooden spear. Now, even though that it's not as powerful as the club, it gives you a certain reach ability. So if you've got slower enemies, um, some of them would be the goons that you'll probably find uh, later on while you guys are playing the game predominantly slow up but at least this way you can attack them without having to um, pretty much uh, inf uh, have any damage inflicted on you that's pretty much what you would want to sort of minimize because they do pack a bit of a wallop especially earlier on in the game if you guys are at the stage like myself here at the moment you'll notice that that would be yeah one thing that you really want to avoid but also even though that they they you might have some faster enemies um, you'll be able to utilize your distance as well and run at the same time so you may get into that sort of situation where you might have to use it as well or even the the ragamuffins they're slow you'll be able to use the longer reach of the spear which is good anyway this is actually a really decent zone to um, grab yourself a bit of wood so I may as well chop a little bit here and if you guys have the capacity of storage I would suggest that you take advantage of this I mean this is free wood a lot of it would be free wood you've got a few enemies here that you're gonna have to deal with which is fine I'm gonna just heal up one more time and then we've got the big fella here and then we've got a, a watchman I might just switch over to this and see if we can Poke him there. So even with the, the fella there with the club, by the time you've hit and he's trying to hit you, he's already you're already out of sight, which is good. So there's no wrong or right way of doing this. 
you're going to spook both of them, so they're both still going to come after you, I guess. So there's that. So I'm just going to quickly heal up, and we should be fine now. Moving forward, I might just switch over to the club and just sort of try and knock him out with this. Okay, one more time after this. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we've gotten ourselves some pretty good, decent stuff, actually. Not bad at all. Spike Club Red, that's actually not bad. All right, awesome. Let's go see what was in here as well, just in case. Now, you've noticed that I haven't actually invested too much into all of my points here. I will get into that eventually. I just want to see how I go without the point system. Now, the last time that I actually played, um, there was obviously point systems, but it wasn't as diverse as it has been now, so it actually has evolved, uh, which is a good thing. So I just want to sort of play around with that myself and make sure that I'm making the, you know, the right decisions. Now, we've got ourselves a rare tube, so we're going to go ahead and open that up as well. Okay, so the uh, Apache bow, if I've pronounced that correctly, we're on Blueprint 2, which is good. Um, I might just flick you over here. Oh, wow, the... The wooden spear actually didn't do too well. Didn't do too well. Nearly killed that durability right off. Um, do I have a stack of actually one more? Just want to grab myself at least a stack of timber, which is what I what I was after here. And right now, we want to go back and talk to the sheriff and claim our rewards. Now, the other thing with this is we're going to have to head back home first and drop off some of our stuff because as we know now, the rewards go into your inventory. It doesn't go into your menu inventory, just to sort of categorize that correctly. So let's go home. Let's go ahead and drop a few things off. Now I haven't done anything really to the base since the last time you may have seen it. So I have just pretty much um, sort of left it as it is unattended. Eventually, I'm going to make some changes and upgrades and things like that. All those sort of necessary things in between. I might just leave that there. Can't store anything else. What I actually might do is I might grab that again and shall grab that. Make a couple more of these medical hurt, uh, bandages. Perfect. I'll drop you there for now. My dude's hungry. We'll fix them up in a minute. Okay, so the dove coat we're gonna have to do pretty soon, I would think. Leave that there. Let's go ahead and eat. And I think it's a little bit happier now, which is good. Uh, it's full. And we have that there. I might just take that with me. Replace you with that. And I'm going to see if there's anything I can drop over here. Okay, we'll store all there. And I've got some of these things that are still lingering, which I need to sort of get rid of. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Try to maximize all of my inventory space. I'll just take that with me anyway. Cool. All right, so it looks like we're good. Does Molly have anything for us? No? Okay, cool. And I've noticed this, actually. Now, this is new. This was never a thing when I was first playing the game. The horse is actually on your base, but you need a stable. So if you interact with it, riding horse allows you to reach remote areas and move faster on the global map. To ride a horse, you need to assemble the stable first. That's pretty much it. But that, that was never a thing back in the time when I started playing. So I guess that's new, which is cool. Okay, so we'll head off to the town. Okay, so we are in town now. Let's go and head over to our sheriff fella. Claim our reward and we'll jump onto the next one, I guess. Okay, here we are. Okay, no, I have nothing about your sister. Are you sure it was her name you heard that day? Since you like chasing bandits, I have an offer. We've got a bandit's whereabouts from the local gang, so he's easy to find, and there's a reward. Okay. But I want to finish off the bee on guard. If you want more contracts like this, put up in the bullet, uh, put up a bulletin board in your ranch. Cool. 
there we go and okay so we accepted that one and then we finished this one so go back home talk to sister maybe she can recall something else okay so we're gonna have to head back home and do just that now we've still got some of these things here as well so they're still they're still wanting us to interact with these guys here so we're gonna have to accept some of these um, uh, quest lines as well we, we will eventually do that but I figured right now let's sort of get through the basics get ourselves set up and then from there after we can go exploring and things like that so I think that might be a really good thing to do for now but we'll head back home we'll see what Molly has to say and we'll take it from there I guess okay so let's go ahead and talk to Molly see what's up but before we do that we did get another blueprint from our quest so let's go ahead and open him up we've got the bronze spear okay cool so we can obviously make that at the forge once we have the forge up and running all right molly what do you have for me sorry i just remembered it was about a year ago met a nice guy in the town one day and when he walked me home he stumbled onto a group of men one of them looking fairly respectable then they started arguing with the guy i met and he asked me to go along without him a few seconds after i'd gone i heard a gunshot so i just ran I was really scared, and that's why I didn't tell you in the first place. By the way, John came by the other day. He seemed nervous and was looking for you. Okay, so we need to go back and talk to John and find out what is going on with this whole quest line. And this is the description as part of the Silence is Golden task that we need to do. So talk to my sister, she can recall something else. I guess my sister doesn't have anything to worry about in that case. Uh, anyway, I must talk to John. So John will be the next point of contact before we move on to the next part of the quest line. So what I probably would do now, guys, I think it will probably be a good time to go ahead and leave it here for today. Nice and easy, a little bit of a shorter one. Just want to see how you guys are, um, are traveling along with the series so far. So checking in, see if you guys are, are actually enjoying it. Let me know any tips, anything that you guys have found in the video that may fit that you might have found that was helpful let me know if there's anything that i missed again drop it in the comments let me know your thoughts and if there's any other information that i could help you out with let me know and i'll try my best to answer and if you guys that have been playing for the game as much as uh, for the same amount of time as me also if i've missed anything let me know in the comments as well let the guys know so at least that way they're in the know as what well, as well as i am but I think we'll go ahead and leave it there. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the new series. Hopefully you guys got a bit out of this one here as we continue on with the with the quest line itself. I do want to sort of try and play it as a let's play kind of style. Don't want to try and implement too many um, uh, transitions or anything like that to one place to another or anything like that. Just so you guys get the full experience of the game itself. So you guys know exactly what you need to do. I think that's really helpful. Anyway. Take it easy guys, make sure that you hit the like button, comment down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notif uh, notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, take it easy, and I will catch you guys next time.